What up guys, how are you guys doing? I'm Thales and we're back with another How To Slice. In today's How To Slice video, we're gonna be checking out some awesome articulated sea animals. So, let's go to the video. So this is the Oceanic Manta Ray. As you can see, this is a really nice model to print. And in this video, we're gonna be checking out the best print settings to print it. So, let's go. So as you can see, this is a really nice articulated model. And it's got a really interesting mesh. So this is my favorite type of mesh. It has really fluid movement and it is fantastic. And it is a SDL Flix exclusive. So let's go to the print settings. Over, over here in the print settings in layer height, we're gonna be printing this model at 0 0.16 millimeters. This way, we're gonna get a extra quality print. It's always recommend to reduce a little bit of uh, the layer height just so you can pump up those quality. It's, it's gonna have more layers, but you're gonna have a better quality print. It's gonna take more time to print, so uh, be careful with that. But for this model, it's well recommended to reduce this value so you can get a fantastic ray model. Going over here to perimeters, we're gonna be printing at three perimeters just so we can get a really rigid and um, sturdy model just so it does not break while you're, you're playing with it or if you give to a kid it's not gonna throw in the wall and it's not gonna break in tiny pieces so we can have a really rigid model by printing with three walls as for infill we're gonna be increasing to 10 percent just so we can get a dense model and print with gyroid gyroid infill pattern is perfect because it prints in waves so your printer never goes on a straight line this makes sure your printer never goes on a state of resonancy this reduces the chances of your print fail failing while printing the infill going to skirt and brim this model does not need any brim but let me show you so brim is a feature to increase the surface area of connection to the build plate and as you can see we got multiple meshes that do not have the best um, bed adhesion so they do not have a good um, a big area of contact to the build plate so if we add brim which is a really nice feature um, to this articulated model you're not going to be able to remove it so it's going to lose the effect of the articulated uh, parts of it so we're not going to be adding brim but to make sure our print do not, does not unstick from the build plate or um, uh, unstick from the build plate or fall off our build plate we're going to be utilizing other tips so the first one is always I do always recommend cleaning your build plate so remove all of the dust oils from your finger that will impact, impact the bad adhesion so Please do that, always clean, give it a wipe with some detergent or isopropylical alcohol just so you can have a bed, um, a, a build plate that is really clean. And make sure your printer is leveled. This way you're gonna get a good uh, bed adhesion because um, if your printer is not well calibrated, it's a little bit high, the tip is a little bit high off the, the build plate, it's gonna lay material without giving the perfect um, layer. So it's, it's not gonna have surface to um, hold and to build a nice model. So make sure your printer is well leveled and calibrated. And if you can add some external adhesion um, I would recommend so giving a layer of glue stick a little bit of glue will help while printing this model and in the future I'm going to be showing you um, how to reduce a little bit of the speed just to make sure the mesh is a uh, print fine and with perfection so this is nice tips to increase bed adhesion without adding any brim so going over here to support material so we're not going to be adding brim and for support material we're not going to be adding support material either because this model is optimized for printing and um, all of the overhangs or bridges your printer can print quite fine as for speed what i would say is reduce the speed on the first layer speed the first layer is the most important um, layer of your print 
So reducing to 15 millimeters a second, you're gonna get a better quality print because it's gonna print slowly. So your first layer is gonna be fantastic. And the first layer is the most important layer because all of the other layers are gonna go on top of this one. If your first layer is not well uh, printed, all of the other layers are gonna come out um, not as good because if you have an inconsistency in the first layer, all of the other layers are going to follow that pattern. So uh, make sure your first layer is at around 15 millimeters a second. On Bamboo Lab printers, it's around 60 millimeters a second. I, I would recommend while printing in Bamboo Studio with Bamboo Lab printers, reduce half of the speed for the standard speed. This is gonna make sure you get a good quality print. So reduce to half. This way, you're gonna get a good quality print. In this video, I'm showing the Ender 2 V3SE, uh, the stock version on the Spruza profile. Um, so I would, would just reduce a little bit of the small perimeters and uh, reduce to around 80. I do recommend, um, depending every printer, if it is a bamboo printer or a um, entry uh, printer, always reduce a little bit of the speed, especially for this articulated model. So Bamboo Lab printers reduce to half of it, just so you can get a good quality print. It's better to print one time really slow than have to print three times with the failing multiple times. So I do, re uh, do recommend reducing the speed. So uh, this is quite nice. Our uh, ray is ready to slice and let's take a look. So as you can see, we have sliced. It takes a little bit of time to slice this model because it got multiple triangles and meshes. So as you can see, it looks fantastic. It's gonna take one day, seven hours to print on the standard Ender 3 V3 SE. And if you go down the layers, you'll see that it prints quite nicely and fine with a 10% infill density. If you go over to speed, you'll see that the speed varies by um, each part is printing. So the face right here, as this is a really big part, it's going to be printed at around 80 millimeters a second, 90 millimeters a second. As for the mesh part, it's going to be printed at 52, around 50 millimeters a second. And the first layer is going to be printed at 15 millimeters a second. So this is fantastic. It's gonna turn into a really nice print. Grab a really nice filament that you have laying around and print this model. So the models are ready to print. Make sure to check out stlflakes.com for more models like this one and I'll see you in another one. I hope you guys enjoy it. Those slicing videos are an initiative from STL Academy, which is the educational project from STLflex. So if you guys want to learn more about 3D printing, you could check our description and look at STL Academy courses. And don't forget, see you guys at the next slicing.